Well, I'm back again, and today I want to talk a little bit about using the archive module on Windows PowerShell 5, but today what I want to do is to uncompress files or extract files rather than to you know, actually compress them or zip them up as I did yesterday. So the first thing I want to do is to import my archive module, so I'm going to use import module, and I use the alias. I also use a wildcard so I don't have to do all that typing. And then I use git command uh, so that I can check and uh, make sure that um, it did in fact get loaded properly. And I take a look at that and yep, there they are. And so this time I want to use the expand archive commandlet. So I always like to look at help on a, a commandlet that I'm not extremely familiar with using or even if I am uh, familiar with um, Commandlet, I still like to take a look at help because yeah, it gives me a really good sense of uh, what uh, what the commandlet will do. And many times I find new parameters uh, or parameter sets that I wasn't familiar with. So I look at help, and I say groovy divvy, and we can see that there's two parameter sets: expand for archive path string, and the destination path string. I can use force. Uh, confirm what if. Uh, expand the archive, destination, string, force, literal path, and, and uh, then confirm what if. And that's about it. So not a whole lot of flexibility here. So for one thing, it doesn't allow me to provide multiple archives to expand, um, and it doesn't allow multiple destinations either. So I do control C over here, and um, or maybe, come on, there we go. And so now I'm going to clear my um, output here. I'm going to change my location back to the root, uh, clear that as well. And so I'm going to say expand. It helps if you spell properly. And you can just press tab and uh, it spells it for you automatically. So the path is uh, C colon. Um, Max SFSO, and then I'm looking for a uh, zip file that I had, and so then I specify my destination, and we're just going to call the C colon backslash FSO, and a more, and that'll be my folder. Press enter, and so now let's use get child item, and C colon backslash FSO, a more and we put it over and there's the file that I had zipped in there. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and uh, we created another archive. So I'm gonna say expand. And this time the path is um, C colon backslash FSO. And this was my uh, backup uh, script uh, zips that I had. Or maybe it was just scripts. So let's, um, oh, there it was. Script backup zipped, and uh, then my destination is C colon backslash FSO, and um, script backup. And I don't have to use the zip, but I can use that if I'm using my same name. So I can use tab expansion to pick it up and then just delete the zippy part, and I say groovy doovy. There went my progress bar, and now if I use uh, get child item, and um, script back up, and then we can see that there's all of the uh, files that I had zipped into that. So if I want to back up a, um, or to expand rather, a, a number of um, of zip files, then what I have to do first of all is I can use get child item and I can look for all of the zip files uh, in my uh, FSO folder, so star.zip and I press enter and I can find that I have a, a couple of zip files there. And now what I want to do is I'm going to pipeline this to the uh, for each object, so I say for each uh, object if I wish and um, then open and close my curly brackets inside the curly brackets then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use expand archive so expand archive 
and I'm going to specify the particular file uh, that I want and that's going to be dollar underscore which is the current item on the pipeline and then I need the full name property because that includes the uh, file name, the path, um, the folder, and uh, the drive, and all that. It is, in fact, the complete name. So expand uh, the full name, and then I specify my destination. And the destination is going to be C colon backslash FSO uh, backslash, and I'll just call it zip if I will. And so now I press enter, and what it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to find every zip file uh, over here and then I'm going to bring it over and for each of these zip files then I'm going to call expand archive and I specify the path which is the complete name to this particular zip file over here and then I expand it into a newly created a folder that does not exist right now called uh, zip now I can't just use the name property because the name property is just the actual file name itself and more.zip or um, script backup zip the um, base name is just the actual file itself so a more or script backup without the extension and, and then there's an extension property of course uh, but the one that I want is not displayed and it's the full name which is the directory the complete directory path with the exact file name path itself so I press enter and when I do then we'll see the progress bar appear and then um, It'll go la 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 across and then everything will be done. So press enter. There we go. And so now I can uh, come back over here and I can say get child item. And this time I want to see what's in my zip uh, folder. And press enter and we can see that it expanded all of the files. So that's how easy it is to use the expand archive commandlet. And even though it only accepts a, a single um, parameter for the path, then that because it's PowerShell, then I can easily write code to uh, pick up all the zip files and expand a whole collection of archives into a, a particular location. The one thing that I would need to be aware of, of course, is that if these zip files contain the same file um, that's just zipped up into different archives, like if I, perhaps if I had multiple backups, then I would need to be able to deal with um, overwriting files and stuff like that. So that's it, uh, the expand archive commandlet from the archive module on Windows PowerShell 5 on Windows 10. My name is Ed Wilson, I'm the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and I talked about this um, earlier uh, this week. Uh, there's a Scripting Guy article that's in the, uh, the notes uh, that I reference for more information about using this commandlet. Thank you and have a uh, wonderful weekend.